Hello guys, good evening everybody, good to see you. Hello Luis, eh, Claudia, hello Tatiana. Hello, Patricia, Charla, hello and Maria and Stella. Good to see you guys. Thank you so much for coming early and punctually, right? Okay, without further ado guys, let's get started with the lesson. And that today we're going to have a quiz time, right? We're going to review the tense that we have been studying this week. This is going to be a practice, right? For you to remember the topics, the structure, the verbs, and everything we study. Okay, let's go to the WhatsApp group. And I will be sharing the link. It's going to be an easy quiz, right? Vamos a hacer this quiz. And can you, let's see, go right now. Okay, let's see. And let me know if you can see the link. Okay, can you please write your name guys and join the, the game, right? Second, don't forget to write your name. Okay, there it is. I see Patricia. Okay, thank you, Patricia. Claudia, Janet, Albert, two, and Maria is there too. Okay, Tatiana. Let's see. We are how many? We are 13 guys and we just have five. Okay, Stella is there. Let's see. There are some of you that are still missing. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Um, you can share the, uh, the link, oh, please. Yeah, yeah, it is in WhatsApp, or if you want me to share it here. In the shot here, please. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Tish. Okay. See? Okay, there it is. Okay. Okay, let me know if you are ready, guys, or not yet. Okay, so let's start with the quiz. And I don't know if there is a person missing or maybe I can start. Okay, let's go with the game, guys. No sé si alguien más me hace falta. No? Okay, guys. So let's go with the game and uh, let's see who can be the winner. Oh, 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 
Congratulations to, let's see, Rodrigo, Sara, and Alba, right? Everybody did a great job, right? So what happened with you, Rufino? What happened? Uh, I, I am late. In this oh, class. you entered late. Okay, yeah, that can be a problem, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that was maybe the problem. Some of you joined late, okay? And remember, this is for you to practice and review the topic that we have been studying. Okay, let's go with the lesson that we have for today. And uh, let's see, today we're going to practice a lot of vocabulary, right? And speaking activities for you to practice English, right? If you don't practice, okay, that is going to be a problem because you won't be able to express your ideas. Okay, so let's find out the meaning of the following words, right? We are going to match, vamos a match, right? I'll need the, the word with the definition. Okay, let's do the first one. Can you help me with the first one? Let's see, Maria Luz, what is a race? What is a race, Maria Luz? Aquí tenemos el significado. So what is the um, meaning of race? Una carrera? Mm -hmm. So what is the meaning? ¿Cuál será el significado de meaning? Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. es, es, um... mm -hmm. What can be the meaning? Um, sí. Mm -hmm. Yes, letter C. Oh, yes, letter C, right? Okay, so we have, oops, we have letter C, right? Okay, thank you, Maria. So what about folk stories? What is a folk story? Can you help me, uh, Luis? What is a folk story? Let me see. Mm -hmm. What can be of a folk story? Letter B, I think. Letter, letter D or B? B. Letter D. Folk stories do an activity or a sport. Is that one? No. Mm -hmm. Letter B. B, the way some someone lives. Mm -hmm. Folk stories are, for example, like legendas, right? That some countries have. So what can be the... Mm -hmm. What can be letter? I heard letter A. Letter A, a right. Letter A, okay, perfect. Letter A, okay. Okay, thank you, Luis. What about... Number three is, let's see, Tatiana, can you help me with number three? Letter B. Letter B, a way of life is the way someone lives, right? Okay, perfect, Tatiana. So the next one, take part. What is the meaning of take part, Rodrigo? 
Mm, let me see, uh, take part. Mm -hmm. What is take part? Take part. Mm, in Spanish, tomar part. Mm -hmm. Yes, but what can be the meaning? Tomar part. Or the definition? Definition. Can be, for example, do an activity or a sport, for example. Take part, for example, of an activity or a sport. Can be okay. that one. Right? Okay, perfect. Okay, thank you, I Rodrigo. Okay. No problem, no problem, Rodrigo. What about number five, uh, Rufino? What is the meaning or the definition of ancient? N, N, C, N, E, N. L Mm -hmm. E, yeah, a la part next. Okay, it is close. Okay, letter E. Something, Something is the culture of a group of people for a very long time. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It can be right. Or it can be also existed for a very long time. Um, mm -hmm. F. Letter F, right. Okay, what about tradition? What is tradition, Claudia? What is tradition? Uh, letter E. Yeah, right. Something is in the culture of a group, right? Like a tradition we have with all the festivities, right? We have, for example, in April, right? We have the Holy Week. So that can be a tradition too. For example, number seven. What is the meaning for number seven, uh, Emily? What is unique? Mm -hmm. What is the definition of unique? Hey, maybe, can you help me, uh, Jenny Sanchez? Jenny, are you there? Oh, yes, there you are. It's the letter hmm? H. Letter H, right? A person that is special or different to other things. Okay, perfect. Jenny, and the last one. Okay, what, what can be a jockey? What is what is a jockey, Carlos Dubon? The difficult one you have. It's very difficult. Yeah, very difficult. <laughs> yeah. Yes, right, letter <laughs> you right. A jockey is a person who rides a horse in a competition. Okay. So I don't know if you have questions about the vocabulary. No? Okay. This will help us with the video that we are about to watch. Eso nos va a ayudar con un video que vamos a ver. So pay attention to the words because we are going to use them. Okay, let's watch the video. And vamos a responder these ones. We're going to answer these questions. Okay. A moment. We're going to answer this. Let me just share this in the WhatsApp group so you can have both parts and check their response to that one. Okay. Vamos a ver un video y vamos a encontrar the answers, right? Falso o verdadero, true or false, para las oraciones que les he compartido in the WhatsApp group. Let's go to the video. This is China. Many different groups of people live in this country. Each group has its own history and culture. 
In northern China is the region of Inner Mongolia. In these thousands of miles of mountains and open grassland, the Mongolian people continue to celebrate their unique culture with the national holiday. During the holiday, families stay in traditional tents. They prepare the food and make an open fire. They love to spend time together, eating and telling folk stories. For these people, it is very important to keep their ancient way of life, to keep their culture alive. Horses are at the heart of the Mongolian culture. The biggest part of the national holiday is the Natam festival. Natam means games. And the horse races are amazing to watch. Up to a thousand horses take part, and the jockeys show great skill. This is the largest horse race in the world. In the Mongolian tradition, all the jockeys are children. There are 200 jockeys, and they train for months before the race. The race starts, and the jockeys run to their horses. They begin to ride across the open grasslands. The jockeys follow the old customs. They do not have seats, and they have nothing to hold on to with their feet. This means that the horses are very difficult to ride. This race is one of the most dangerous in the world. It is a true test of horse riding skill, and it is a unique example of traditions continuing for hundreds of years. The sun is going down on this year's Natam festival. Here on the Mongolian grasslands, the horses will rest until next year. Okay, a very interesting video, right? So, can we answer this part, guys? Can we answer this part? A true and false section, can we answer? Yeah, or no? Or one more time? Mm, I think... Uh, the answer. One more time. One more time. Okay. 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 No problem. One more time. Okay, Rodrigo. Let's give one more time. This is China. Many different groups of people live in this country. Each group has its own history and culture. In northern China is the region of Inner Mongolia. In these thousands of miles of mountains and open grassland, the Mongolian people continue to celebrate their unique culture with the national holiday. During the holiday, families stay in traditional tents. 
They prepare the food and make an open fire. They love to spend time together, eating and telling folk stories. For these people, it is very important to keep their ancient way of life, to keep their culture alive. Horses are at the heart of the Mongolian culture. The biggest part of the national holiday is the Natam festival. Natam means games. And the horse races are amazing to watch. Up to a thousand horses take part, and the jockeys show great skill. This is the largest horse race in the world. In the Mongolian tradition, all the jockeys are children. There are 200 jockeys, and they train for months before the race. The race starts, and the jockeys run to their horses. They begin to ride across the open grasslands. The jockeys follow the old customs. They do not have seats, and they have nothing to hold on to with their feet. This means that the horses are very difficult to ride. This race is one of the most dangerous in the world. It is a true test of horse riding skill and it is a unique example of traditions continuing for hundreds of years. The sun is going down on this year's Natam festival. Here on the Mongolian grasslands, the horses will rest until next year. Okay, guys, let's try to answer this section, right? Okay, remember, we have to use a true and false statement. So the first one, there are no Mongolian people living in northern China. Is that true or false? True. 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 It says, true. okay, let's, let, 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 there are no Mongolians. No, I mean, Mongolian, false. right? It is? False. 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 Yes. False. False, right? False. <laughs> yes, it is false, right? Okay, then it says Mongolian people love horses. Is that true? Is it true? Yes, it's true. <laughs> it's true, right? Horses it's true. are the heart of the Mongolian people. Exactly. They are the heart, right? Yes. Then we have children can ride horses. Is it true? Yes. True. All the all the jockeys are children. Yes, right. All the jockeys are children, right? So imagine yeah. that sport or that tradition. <laughs> so it is it is something it's very amazing. dangerous for, for a for a child. Yeah, it is, right? <laughs> but it is it, what it is amazing is the tradition, right? That they want to keep. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. that's the best part. Okay, then we have horse riding is not a dangerous sport. Is that true or false? False. 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 false, right? Definitely. It is false. It's false, right? Because yes, it is a sport, very dangerous, very peligroso. Okay, so an interesting video, right? I didn't know about Mongolian uh, people. I don't know about you if you know about, but it's interesting how they have and keep these traditions. Okay, let's go with uh, this part. Uh, I want you to identify, for example, what. Quiero que me ayuden to identify, for example, what the event is, what the event is, where is it, where is it, and for example, what activities, activities you can do. And basically that is in when, right? Cuando se desarrolla, when. Okay, what is the event? 
about. Okay, so that, that this event. Okay, so let's find out these questions with this music, with this uh, Muscat Festival, right? Okay, can you help me, Estella, with the first part? Can you read it, please? One of the most important festival in Oman is the Muscat Festival. The festival lasts for about one month and take place in February every year. During the festival, many activities are available for people to take part in. Okay, thank you, Stella. So is there a word, guys, alguna palabra that you don't know or a pronunciation or something that you have doubts about? Okay. The Muscat. That, that is the name of the festival. That is the name, yeah, the proper name. Mm -hmm. So um, let's see any other. We have the word available, right? Available, disponible, available. Okay, so can you help me with the next one? Uh, let's see. Uh, maybe you can help me. This, oh, Rodrigo. Okay, thank you, Rodrigo. Thank you. Okay. Large numbers of people, including all minds and visitors to Oman, go to the different events. The events are a celebration of both Amani and international history and traditions. The events take place in different places across the country. Many business show their products for people to look at and buy. Okay, there we have, right, the, what people can do here, right, to, to buy, to look, and uh, to see some products. Okay, what about, and thank you, Rodrigo, what about letter C? Who wants to help me to read, guys? Okay, let's go, please. And then Jenny, okay, Jenny? Let's listen first. Okay, quiero que tú, please. Oh, Fernando, okay, Fernando, thank you. Let's go, Fernando. Okay. The Musca Festival also includes the very popular six-day tour of Oman Cycling Race. Pro professional cyclists from around the world take part in the race. The race is nearly uh, 1,000 1, kilometers long and it takes the cyclist uh, of the beautiful Jabal al Akhtar, the Green Mountain. Okay, interesting, right? Yeah. So imagine that you can ride like 1,000 kilometers and that to go to the beautiful mountain, right? Okay, Jenny, let's go with letter D, please. Other highlights of the Muscat Festival include the, ch the chance to try out different types of food at the Oman Food Festival. The Muscat Art Festival also offers visitors Arabic music, concerts, and plays, and other entertainment for the whole family. The Festival of Light is one of the most popular event events at the Muscat Festival. Okay, thank you. That is another activity, right, that you can do in this Muscat Festival. Okay, thank you, Jenny. Is there somebody else who wants to breathe? No? Okay, okay, go ahead, please. The, the Muscat Festival is very international with people visiting from countries as far away as Brazil and Cuba. Visitors also arrive from Italy, India, Russia, South Korea, Spain, Tunisia, and Turkey, as well as many other countries. They enjoyed uh, the uh, mess amazing, uh -huh. amazing clothes, uh -huh. food, and music. Some people just enjoy the mix of different cultures cultures okay okay cultures. just just check we have the word events right 
events, events. Then we have the word away, away, away. Then we have the word, for example, Turkey. Turkey, right? Okay. So very good, guys. Now help me with the information, right? Would you like to visit Oman? Uh, what about uh, you? Let's see, Rufino, would you like to visit Oman? Yes. Would you like? I, mm -hmm. uh, yes, I I would I would like visit to visit Oman. Why? Why? Uh, because because um, I I conocería. I, I can know. I can meet. For example, first. I, I, I can know uh, different cultura, different different person. Mm -hmm. in, the other other thing I I can I can I can know um before this yeah right yes you can know a lot of places you can meet people too and basically do a lot of activities okay thank you Rufino okay let's find out for example what is the festival what is the festival, uh, Gabriela? What is the festival? For example, what do they do? What is the festival about? Mm -hmm. Gabriela, what is the uh, festival about? Mm -hmm. The que se trata, what is it? And the um, music, no. Mm -hmm. It can be about music, right? About different events. Like different cultures. Different cultures, right? Uh, for example, different tour activities. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, right, that is what they present. When is it? Cuando, when is it, guys? February. It is in February, right? Every year. So, and where is it? Donde? Where is it? Where? Where is the festival? Mm -hmm. in, Oman. In, Oman. in Oman. In Oman, right? Here we have, right? In Oman, right? And then we have what happens? What happens? ¿Qué pasa? Or what? For example, we can do here. Mm -hmm. What activities or what happens in this place? Yeah, the cycling race. We can find right the cycling race. Then we can find also business products, right? To buy. We have different all types of food. Food, right? And clothes too. That's right. Okay, thank you guys. So it's me ayuda. There is some okay, there it is. Okay. It just parece que alguien dejó. Okay, so guys, now it's time for you to practice, right? For you to present your event, right? Vamos a elegir un event de nuestro país, right? And you are going to create an information, an informational um, pamphlet. And you are going to present this to the visitors. You are going to include, for example, a section like when it's going to happen, where, what can we do, for example, food and drink, activities. And if you want to include clothes, it's okay. Don't forget to write the name. Okay, ¿qué vamos a hacer entonces? Vamos a escoger un evento de nuestro país y vamos a presentar un panflet. Y este panflet tiene, debemos incluir, por ejemplo, el nombre, eh, dónde se llevará a cabo, cuándo, qué podemos encontrar, ya sea food and drink, las actividades. Y también podemos incluir like clothes if you want to include. Ok, there are some, for example, eh, actuals here that you can wear a specific type of cloth, but if not, you can omit that part. I don't know if you have questions. 
okay? We can, this is like a model, right, of a pamphlet. If you want to do it like this, or también podemos hacerlo como una presentation. Don't forget to include pictures. Luego lo vamos a presentar. Then we're going to present this information y vamos a escoger the best, right? The best pamphlet and the best information. Okay, vamos a hacer una poll. A poll, vamos a hacer una poll later. So, do you have questions, guys, to prepare your pamphlet or your presentation? Questions? No? Okay. We're going to have like 10 minutes, right? For uh, the presentation. If I do that, no questions. If not, I let you work. No? Okay, guys. So it means to me you are ready. Let's go to the breakout rooms and I will be sharing this information too in the WhatsApp group. So let's go. Let's go. Let's see, Emily, Carla, what happened? Okay, there it is, Emily too. Hello, Emily, Alba, hello, Alba. Hello, Alba, no. In Catholic Church. Hello, lady. Hello. Hello. Questions? Hello. Or are we okay? Um, Hoy vamos a presentar. <laughs> I hope so, Norma. I hope so. <laughs> bueno. Ok. Remember que al final vamos a hacer una encuesta, right? Presentando the best, eh, the best presentation, right? So try to include... Todos estamos desde un teléfono, entonces eso estábamos hablando. <risa> no, uh, no. no sé si pueden abrir el PowerPoint desde... Podemos abrirlo desde la, la... Si se van al correo, ahí aparece. Pueden abrir la PowerPoint. 
te van al correo y les va a aparecer una opción. Dejen, dejen a ver si les puedo compartir desde acá. Eh, que ustedes lo puedan hacer de una sola vez desde la... Aquí está, ahorita se los comparto. Les puede ayudar esta parte. Este es el eh, correo. Entonces, ustedes se van a esta parte. Quiero ver. Esta parte. Y acá dice eh, presentaciones. Esta parte. Y ahí les va a crear eh, la presentación que ustedes quieran hacer. También existe. Esto desde los panfletos, pueden tomar ideas de esto también. Okay. Aquí les da, las plantillas se las dan ahí. Uh, Por si les sirve, Thanks. funciona esa parte, ¿verdad? Thanks, teacher. Okay, Thank you, teacher. you're welcome, ladies. I let you work. Hello, Cristela. ¿Cómo estamos? Do you have questions? No, teacher. Hey, were you working with somebody? No sé si estamos trabajando with somebody, with a group. Eh, con Estela, pero la, la, la plataforma me sacó, entonces hasta okay. ahorita pude otra vez. Está bien, ya la voy a enviar entonces con Estela. Okay, let's go. Tenemos que unirnos, eh, Cristela. Hello, Albert, Alejandra, and Estela. Do you have questions or are we okay? Sí, teacher. Estamos, digamos que yo no sé nada de ninguna tradición de aquí del país, ¿verdad? Y pues mi compañera me dijo que se llama de favorito y todo eso. Quise compartir mi pantalla, pero no pude. Ok, veamos si lo puedo cambiar. Vaya. Podemos intentar ahorita, Estela. Creo que ya, ya cambié la, la opción acá. Ahí. No, me parece, no, no sé si está No. No, me sale pantalla, pizarra. Ah, tiene que seleccionar una de esas. Ajá. Tiene que seleccionar una de esas opciones. Ah, esas ah. opciones son las que tiene. Entonces puede seleccionar ya sea la presentación para que todos la puedan ver. Sí. Uh -huh. Pero Cuando usted comparte, le van a aparecer esas opciones. Entonces usted tiene que darle clic y luego compartir. Oh, exacto. Uh -huh. Ok, si podemos, if uh, okay. I know you have questions, Albert o Alejandra, no questions. Ok. okay. So, I let you work, guys.
This meeting is being recorded. Hello, guys. Do you have questions or are we okay? Tell me. No question. No questions. What is the festival you are going to be talking? Uh, talking about Festival International de la Pupusa. Oh, really? Day International de la Pupusa. That sounds uh, delicious. Ajá. Uh -huh. el, el compañero Luis está hablando también del de los viejitos de agosto. <laughs> oh, that's interesting, guys. Okay, perfect. Uh, how much time do you do you think you need to finish? How much time? Um, Another ten minutes, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Luis, very appropriate, right? Muy apropiado, Luis, very appropriate. Okay, I'm going to give you like uh, like five or seven minutes more, right? So you can be the first one in presenting, right, Luis? <laughs> yes. Okay, guys, I'll let you work. I'll let you work. Coronation, cloning, coronation. Hello, guys. Do you have questions? Hello, hello. Hello, Rodrigo. Do you have questions? How is everything going? No. No? Okay, go ahead. What is the festival you're going to be discussing? Remember, everybody's going to participate, right? So yeah. tell me. The so, Carnival of San Oh, the San Miguel Carnival. Yes, right. Have you ever been there, guys? Jan Estadai, have you ever been there? No. No? no. <laughs> I haven't been there. Oh, but would you like to be there? 
Yes, yes. That sounds like a, a ex, experience, exciting, exciting experience. <laughs> yes, right. Do you like yes. to dance, Rodrigo? Uh, a little bit. So <laughs> I have two, two left foot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right. To left the feet, right? Okay. So, guys, uh, I let you work because uh, is there some something else that you are going to add, or that's going to be the the information? Okay. Remember where it says I you think... will find, right? You will find. It was found yeah. is the past, right? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. What okay. did you say? Uh, okay. Find. Sure. You will find. You will find different. Mm -hmm. The same, the third point. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. Okay, I let you work some minutes for you to get ready with the information. That's perfect. Okay.
Okay, guys, I hope you finished the activity. Remember that uh, you're going to present the information next Monday, right? And don't forget to complete the quizzes. You have to finish the, the final exam next week. And uh, so keep in mind that. So guys, we are going to finish right now. And I hope to see you next Monday with that presentations, right? Thank you so much for coming, guys. And if you don't have questions, I will say goodbye to you. No questions? Bye, no questions. No Bye. Question. Perfect. Get ready next Monday and see you Thank on you. Monday. Have a nice Good weekend, Monday. right? Thank see you, you guys. Bye. Good night. Bye. See you. Good night. Good night. See you. See you. See you, guys. <laughs> No, see you tomorrow. I'll see, oh, you, see you tomorrow. Okay. Just with you, Rufino. <laughs> <laughs> see you guys. Okay, I see you Monday. <laughs> see you Monday. See you guys.